Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Jones. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. Today, we are expecting the family of a missing crystal boy to talk more about the child's disappearance. Barway Collins has been missing for nearly three weeks, and police consider the boy's father a suspect. Reporter Sonia Goins is at Spiritual Church of God in Robbinsdale, where the family was expected to attend a press conference. Sonia? Now, Mike and Alex, I'm in the church basement where a press conference just wrapped up. Now, Pastor Hardy Smith has been by the family side ever since Barway first disappeared. Today, he spoke for the family, and he answered questions surrounding Pierre Collins, Barway's father. Now, 10-year-old uh, Barway Collins first disappeared on March 18th, shortly after getting off the school bus. Crystal Police say Pierre Collins is a suspect. For days, authorities have been searching an area of the Mississippi River. Police say they have strong evidence Pierre was in that area the evening of Barway's disappearance. Pierre says that's not the case. He says he was at a grocery store. The family also cleared up questions surrounding a $30,000 life insurance policy on Barway. I'm here today for us to find ways to refocus on finding Barway, to put the spotlight back on Barway Collins and not on the family. And I also like to add that there was no insurance policy that was taken a month ago on Barway Collins. The insurance policies were taken over three years ago, and this was taken on all four of his children. And I might add... Now, Pierre's ex-wife, Jennifer Collins, alleges that he is a child molester. Now, today, the family released court documents that show that there was not enough evidence to charge him of that crime. Meanwhile, Crystal Police still need your help. If you have any information, please give them a call. Live in Robbinsdale, Sonia Goins, 12 News. All right, Sonia, thank you very much.